Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Well, another beautiful day in the books and we have more to go. So lots of good news in the forecast. Wanted to briefly look at Killington. Still a ton of snow on the Superstar Trail. Obviously the season ended early, but if we were still skiing, probably we would be into June, at least there, 77. And look at this, in the last couple of days, the grass in the camera view at Jay Peak has turned green and most of the snow melting or gone on the mountain, 75 there. But in the lower elevations like Burlington, we hit 87 today. We'll cool off a little bit for the holiday weekend, just about 80 degrees or just under that. And then we really warm up starting Tuesday of next week. I think 90 will be in the cards by Wednesday of next week. Look at all of the 80s on the map. These are the six o'clock numbers. Very impressive for May. It's still 87 in Lebanon, still 85 in Burlington, and we have 81 in Messina. And there's no clouds either. The nearest clouds are still south of Syracuse. Notice how everything is pivoting just a little bit north. So very far southern Vermont will have some clouds and maybe a shower or two tomorrow morning. But other than that, we're looking at a dry weekend. But that's why we've added the word mostly in there, mostly dry this weekend. There will be more clouds on Memorial Day, but I think it's dry as we go forward. Still about 80 degrees then. There's that shower potential south of Rutland tomorrow morning. The clouds will go away, though, by the afternoon. Sunshine for the rest of the day, same deal on Sunday. And then we'll have the clouds start to work in from the west as we head into Monday. So it's a great night for sleeping with the windows open tonight, mid or upper 50s, the farther south you go. And then tomorrow, a cooler day, 79 in Burlington, 76 in Johnson and across northern New York, mid 70s for the most part. Actually, it looks a little cooler as we head down into southern Vermont, and that's because of the cloud potential and the potential for a shower or two, as we mentioned for tomorrow morning. So here's the five day forecast dry overall through Wednesday, 85 the high on Tuesday, 90 the best chance for 90 is Wednesday of next week and then some thunderstorms probably break the heat on Thursday of next week, but we're still well into the 80s and and probably manage 80 on Friday of next week, a week from now. So a lot of warm weather in the forecast, certainly going to warm the water temperatures up quite a bit over the next week. Steph.